to the Capricorn moon, darling dears, could threaten your sense of security. Yes, it will. Why? Pluto is the planet of um, the SEX, it's the planet of the unaliving, it's the planet of um, obsession, the underworld, the subconscious and regeneration, right? So Pluto, picture this, is in the 10th house of Korea, reputation, darling dear, and guess where it is? With the moon, darling dear, so your emotions are in the mix as well, as well as what? Mother energy, or mothering energy, or maybe it's something to do with what? Your progeny, darling dears, but reputation, darling dears, will be the key word for the read today. Mm -hmm. Times are changing, so it's time for you to evolve, big cat. Pluto can bring out um, power struggles and triangular relationships. Yes, I said triangular relationships. <whistles> relax, big cat. Relax. Relax. I didn't say a throuple, right? Because a triangular relationship could be anything. The, um, the third party could be um, a professional acclaim. Maybe your partner is going after fame and status rather than focusing on a partner. It could be the best friend that has another best friend. But the reading today is about reputation, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Right, let's dive in at a hot trot. Let's get your runestone. Thank you. Big cat, you get the blank rune. It doesn't come out often, but when it does, a wish is about to be granted, darling dears. Pertaining to reputation, again, stick a pin in that. Keep Hold that thought, darling dears. Pardon me, that was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth, Ruth. Pinky's up. Let's get a domino to back up this, this gift from the Most High. You're in deservant mode, darling dears. Your reputation, law number five. Of the 48 laws of power is what etched on your cranium, darling. Remember, hang with four bottom feeders. Guess who will be number five? Not only that, if you're the smartest person in your group, you need a new group, darling dears. You have to be around people that that motivate you, darling dears, by their own their own mastery of whatever subject or or field they're in. Wow, you've got a throuple. Everything's about the throuple today, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Let's count up these energies. It's 8, 11, 14, 20. So it's the energy of what? Tower card. Yes, baby, judge. I said tower card. That's 16. Tower card mean, means a sudden change is coming in for you, darling dears, pertaining to your reputation. Remember I told you that? Again, stick a pin in that. Right, but it's represented by what judgment, darling dear? Mm -hmm. The judgment of what a second chance. Somebody's also going to be hearing that they've passed the final exam, which is going to put them on a path, darling dear, which is going to be what written and driven by what luck, a gift by the universe, darling dear, something that you've worked hard towards. Mm -hmm. The energy of the 20 goes down to a 2, so this is about your intuition. Again, we go back to the moon energy. It's ruled, it rules the high priestess. Your intuition, this is about a secret, some kind of secret, or you're highly intuitive. Maybe you're stepping out, showing the world your true, your true abilities, living unapologetically at this moment in time. But it's also about being guided, having gone within for inner strength. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you have an air of mystery around you at this moment in time. It also speaks about in the past, past situations, because we're talking about going forward. You had a very secretive partner, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Sneaky and secret. Yes, baby. The ones that like to walk on the balls of their feet, darling dears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But wasn't so, what? Careful with their DNA. Yeah. 
All of this night, high priestess could also represent mistress energy. And again, we speak about the throuple, the number three. Can we look at the messages behind the numerology of the three? It's about a group effort, darling. Just maybe you express yourself authentically in front of a group. And you are now about to get what? Payday, darling, dears. Your efforts are about to be buffed up and bossed up, leveled up by the universe. Mm -hmm. You have an eight here. Matter of fact, you have the eight, then the nine, or the nine, then the eight, darling, dear. A final countdown. This is absolutely fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. This is the number of what? Infinity as well as what? Money. What's that? Skrilla.com, darling, dear. The folding self. Just saw what? Five, five, five on the counter. A quantum leap ahead, darling dear, is being forecast for you. Mm -hmm. Be prepared for this massive shift of new opportunities. I told you, a blessing is being afforded unto you, darling dears. The energy of um, the two and the six, it speaks about what? Good luck. It's good luck, darling dears. In your business matters, your careers. Again, we're already in the 10th house because the moon is in the 10th house. Things are being illuminated for you at this moment in time, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Time for you to what? Boss up to the security that you already imagined. Yeah, the, the version of yourself. It's Listen, all right, I'll break it down even further. For those at the back, today you walk into the true you, darling dears. Bravo, posh clap. Mm -hmm. You also have the three blank. This darling dears is telling you that what? Somebody is going through some form of issue with money and love. They chose a wrong situation, darling dear, which has affected their money. Not happy in a in a home situation. Again, moon mother energy. Maybe the person they're dealing with is a mother. Maybe not the mother of their child, but this person is a baby mama. Mm -hmm. Or in the UK, baby mother. Mm -hmm. Yep, somebody's going through some money issues, darling dears. All while you're being what? Blessed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have what? The three and the six, darling dears. Again, lean back in, darling dear. You're going to be receiving a gift. Listen, blessing upon blessing. So you're being blessed in the face of adversity, darling dears. <coughs> Let's move this along. <clears throat> Excuse me, my civil play. This is the 369. The Tesla, the key to the, in the universe is the 369. Maybe you was, you've been using the 369 manifestation mode. Writing it down three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times in the evening. Yes, baby. Somebody has manifested what they truly deserve. All right. Let's get your oracle ancestral message around all of this. We're going to use the... Let's use a deck I haven't used in a while. The Distance Traveller. Oracle Ancestral Message for the Big Cat. As we speak about their reputation, what do they need to know about their reputation? <coughs> Excuse me. What do we need to know about the big cat's reputation? What does your ancestors want you to know? Yeah. You took a leap of faith, darling, dears, and went into unknown territory. Unknown territory. Territory, right? Yes, you did. You listened to your higher self. This is inner strength, darling, dears. This is the obstacles that are at your side. Many fell to your left, right? What was it? They fell to your left. They fell to your right. But you are still standing. Yes, baby. Or maybe you fell down seven times and got up eight, darling dears. You also, some of you also have um, the owl as your totem animal. Mm -hmm. For others, you're going to be seeing this bird. Is it a robin? What type of bird is this? You're going to be seeing this bird in the most unusual place, darling dears. It's a message for you to what? Follow the bird or follow the thought that's going through your mind when you see either of these birds in real life or on the TV. But don't go looking for it, darling dears. Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be at this moment in time. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous, darling. Absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Some of you are bound for what? Distant horizons. Yes, but you must also what? Pay attention to the red flags. Don't be driven by your sacral chakra, by your um, sexual energy or by emotion, darling dears. Mastering your emotions. How do you do that? By getting into your root chakra, this is about you securing yourself. 
you are about to be secure, darling. There's something that you work hard towards. It could also represent east or traveling to the east. The east also rules is, is ruled by what sorts energy. So you're getting mental clarity in this situation. Divine wants you to continue to be in an optimistic mind, in expectation mode. It also speaks about meeting partner or partners, not necessarily a menage a trois, darling, it could be platonic. Yeah, soul tribe, darling, this of like-minded intellect coming towards you after what? Um, a painful past. This is the this is the reward. This is the final light at the ending of your tunnel. It's not just a pinprick in the distance. You can actually what pass through that particular orifice into a what a lucky period in your life. Love it. And as I say that, I look down and see what infinite abundance, darling dears. Whenever the universe is stepping up, darling dears, because you overcame some kind of some kind of issue issue from the past maybe you got a, a call a hey big head text someone from the past tried to infiltrate your your perimeter darling dears possibly with a call or maybe even doing what a beetle juice and mani manifesting themselves at your domicile god forbid yeah i told you i've got my security cameras everywhere everything's locked down around here a squirrel can't get a nut in my garden but if they turn up at your door get yourself a shiz darling dears just in it from an upper window They'll think the sky's falling in, just like chicken licking, darling dears. Mm -mm. Infinite abundance. What you, what you ask for, darling dears, you're gonna get more than, a, more than you expected. Why? Because you followed. And again, we're looking at a throuple in the middle. This speaks about new groups, darling dears. Will you be able to express yourself? Some of you are into communications. Expect your communications to open up a whole new social group for you going forward. Absolutely love it. It also the three also is ruled by what sensitivity. Again, pay attention to your intuition as well as your discernment, darling dears. Feel that that feeling in your tummy. The butterflies. Yeah, that means don't do it. That means warning, warning, red flag, red flag. Yeah. In other words, pull over, mate, and consider the evidences. In the UK, we call, or I should say in law enforcement, it's called the what? An audio of evidences will be presenting itself. Pay attention to your intuition and your bodily functions around it, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You'll know when you're in the right circumstance. The number three is ruled by Jupiter as well as Neptune energy again. Jupiter is about expansion, but it's also about travel, spontaneous travel, darling dears, possibly to the east or an eastern country, Asia somewhere, mm -hmm. unknown territory for some, but darling dears, but it was the opening, it's the doorway to the abundance that's being gifted to you, you've got re rejuvenating rain as well as what, breaking a trail, you're a trailblazer, darling dears, your reputation, darling dear, is going to be what's spoken, your name is been going to be mentioned in rooms where your feet will never step, darling dears, but your words. Abundance is pouring into your life, it says. Clear the past, heal the present, darling dear. Break it, a breakthrough is at hand. Somebody got a call from the past, darling dears, or some kind of hey big head text, darling dears, trying to draw them back into what? Fuckery, blood. Fuckery, right? That is peppered with... Where's my shiznai? Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a commercial break while I find my things. Did I find it? No. Just a second, darling, dears. Go get my props. If I can reach you. It's at times like this. I wish I could just say, go, go, gadget, gadget arms. Mm-hmm. All right, let me get my cobble back in place. Yes, baby. Like I said, Point A and point B, guys. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. You're going to get that, that call, darling, dears. And if you are strong enough, strong enough in your what? Self-care, self-love, self-worth. You have God at the head of your table, darling, dears. Father, God, Mother, Isis, or whomsoever you worship, what religion you're in, right? You're understanding yourself. You're doing what Tesla is. Get into the key to the universe, darling, dears. And listening to what Socrates that says the, what the key to the universe is knowing thyself. You've rejuvenated, darling dears. You don't look like what you've been through. You've found optimism in your life. You found you. Mm -hmm. And you're a trailblazer. Because like I said, your feet will be mentioned. Your name's going to be mentioned in the rooms that your feet hasn't stepped into, darling dears. Right? But your reputation, 
will go on forever, darling dears. How you overcame, how you broke ground. Some of you may even be what? Into investments, in, investment in property. But it's something new, darling dears. The green is the heart chakra. You've put all of your heart into it. It also speaks about the compassion you now have for others that have gone through a similar path. This is why you are radiating on a higher frequency, darling dears. This is why the universe has given you what? A love tap, darling dears. A love tap. Mm-hmm. All right, ace of the deck. We've got what? Voyage of the heart. Did we not just speak about the heart? Your heart is involved in this. The heart chakra also represents Thursday. So Thursday is going to be significant to you. And lo and behold, the heart chakra, as I was saying, or did I say the heart chakra is ruled by the moon? We just discussed the moon. Mother instinct, darling dear. But it's also about the intuition. Mm -hmm. The 10th house. The 10th house represents... Um, the father energy so this is definitely a union darling dear someone that you was in union with in the past I'm getting mother father energy it could be same sex because you know gender is fluid in tarot darling dears but like I was saying your reputation you learn to put yourself first mm. right let's get a deck and dive right in and see what else is going on mm -hmm. Base of the deck, getting over some form of betrayal, darling dears. This is words. This is manipulation, gaslighting, all of the above, darling dears. Negative thoughts, envy, jelly, all, all of that stuff, darling dear. The backstabbing stuff. There was a lot of it. <laughs> hey! Somebody expected your back to be broken. Or maybe broken enough to what? Stay in a situation that you'd outgrown. Listen, they need to understand that you are what? Butterfly, big cat. And you've been blessed by the most high. Let's dive in. Let's dive in and see what's going on here. Current energy around the big cap. Current energy around the big cap. Current energy around the big cap. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry, darling dears. Yes, baby, this is an isolation. You was meant to stand out for being different or you stood out for being different in a situation. Situations that involve the heart. We've got the four of cups, darling dears. This is no longer disappointed by past situations. <gasps> You've had some kind of spiritual enlightenment. This is what you call the self, the self care, the self worth walk, darling dear. This is spiritual guidance as well as uplifting. But it's you... You use the, the, where you are right now, you use pain from a past situation, darling, this to light your way going forwards. Yes, you did. Um, Virgo energy. Virgo is the sixth house. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about um your health, darling, is your health was being affected, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, in a, in a situation, a situation that brought a lot of disappointment. There was a lot of tears. Mm -hmm. Yep. All of this and that, big cat. All of this and that. A lot of negativity. Mm. But this situation caused you to refocus, darling dears. You refocused. All right. So what was the issue in the past that caused you to refocus, recalibrate, right? Focus on your distant horizon. Step into unknown territory. Come out looking like what? A young and. <laughs> looking fabulous gorgeous and lovely yeah the wounding the gossiping the disingenuous friends the relationship that was one-sided yes baby all of this and that some of you even was looking at the job that you was doing maybe it was the the, the lock-ins that we all had to go through darling dears yeah maybe it made you realize that it's not the job for you you didn't want to be on that hamster wheel anymore this is about you learning from past mistakes in the past position. Yeah. Wounded warrior, darling, is using spiritual guidance as well as spiritual strength. Nine of Wands in the upright, I might add. It speaks about in the past you had to learn to be what? Resilient, darling, dear. This is somebody who what was holding their pain. He was holding your pain. But then you gave it to the Most High and was protected. Psalms 91.1. Love it. All right. Gonna keep diving a little deeper. So what's currently in your path? Per person, place or thing? Oh, 
Okay. This is about taking back your power in a situation. Pentacles could speak about online. It could also speak about a telephone call, email, something like that. You took back your power in a situation, present situation. Yeah. With the high, listen, somebody tried to what? Give you an old shufti, darling dears. They tried to switch a situation around you. This is someone that breadcrumbed you in the past. They expected you to be there for air. Yeah, the ride or die. Dummy bat. Listen, I'm not a picker. I'm a pointer. I told you that already. I myself was a dummy bat for 50 years. That's half of a hundred blood. Right? But until you know a thing, yeah, I forgot you a thing. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll dive in deeper as we go on, darling dears. Yeah, so what else happened? Good golly and gosh. A situation that led to this. What was hidden? Right? It was a situation that was never changing. Death card on his face. It's rep Death card is what? Scorpio energy. Scorpio represents the what I desire. So, yeah, physically you lost the desire for the situation. You felt isolated in the situation. You was unable to speak your true emotions in this past situation. You had a good look at this situation, darling dear. And not only that, somebody's come back through, darling dear, because... Not because they see that they, they've seen the light. They haven't seen the light, darling dear. Somebody wants help. They're looking for what? A nurse with a purse, darling dears. And that's the truth. Page of Wands, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The situation was never ending. It was always the same. And this person is coming back in with the same flipping argument, talking about she's naive. The eighth house is also what? The marriage house. And maybe the person's coming back trying to explain how they managed to cheat and how it's not cheating. Listen, there's a lot of confusion here, right? I don't like being confused. Confusion.com, darling dears. Mm -hmm. All right. What are the current influences around the big cap? Yeah. People see that you're moving on, mate. That you're not prepared to be traumatized anymore. You're just not prepared, right? You're tired of clutching them, their pearls. Yep. People are seeing that you've moved on from a very traumatic event, darling dear. They expected you to go down Bobby Brown. They didn't expect you to go within. Go through the DNS. Had to look over my right shoulder. Why? Because I'm a red light, green light champion of 79. As are you, bestie. Why? Because we're besties, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you walked away and that was the best decision you ever made. Turning your back on this traumatic situation and circumstance. This is someone that didn't appreciate what you while you was there. You Listen, if you didn't listen to your intuition when you first met them, the first red flag, you wouldn't have gone through. Not only that, you wouldn't be the cat you are today, darling. Dears. You had to go through to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. You had to. You simply had to. All right. What actions could you possibly take at this moment in time? Yeah, the past is the past, darling dears. You don't care about their till, tears, right? I nearly said deals. So it was a, or something to do with a teal color. Teal, teal? I don't know. But anyway, right? Yeah, they tried to make some kind of deal, darling dear, an emotional deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. They tried to tug at your heartstrings, darling dears. After they effed you over. So you had to start, instead of saying what hurt, darling dear, you had to wake up every morning and tell yourself about what isn't hurting that day. You had to take it one day at a time, sweet Jesus. You had to. Mm -hmm. You simply had to. You've got opportunities now, darling dear. I told you, somebody's looking for help, right? Chariot in the reverse. The universe is saying, don't help them. This person has a... Listen, they may have a job. They barely got a car, a vehicle, a chariot. They, if they got a chariot, it's not righteous, darling dears. It could be a work car, a work van, whatever it is. They haven't even got a stable home, right? They feel unsuccessful, unfulfilled with what they've got going on in their lives, darling dears. Mm -hmm. so let's, let's dive a bit deeper, right? Let's dive a little deeper. Cards number one, and we're going to go with cards number one, two, and three. 
okay we're looking at a future event event darling dears and this future event is telling you not to what look backwards this is about moving forwards this is listen let me get my shiz naive so i can point let's be cat let's drop down and get our eagle on right this is telling you to not to offer to a situation because if they did you dirty before, they'll do it again. This person will also have the effrontery, one's energy. They'll say it with their chest that they haven't changed. Not a smidgen, darling, this. They're more or less the same person. This is what I'm saying. They're going to they're gonna have the effrontery to be telling you all of this and that, darling, dears. Imagine that. Yeah, the webs we weave when we practice to deceive. They're hoping that you'll be a dummy bat. But this future event, if you should see the situation for what it is, right? Take your ego out of the situation. Just because somebody's coming back, darling dears, is not does not necessarily mean they're coming back because they love you or they're really sorry. They see you as the doormat, darling dears. Get mad. But not mad enough to go to prison like R. Kelly. No, 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 no. When we get mad as a big cat, we get what? In our craniums, mate. We get to thinking. And thunking is not a thing we do anymore. We become keyboard gangsters. And graduate what? Cum laude. With honours. From finding out she's naive. Yeah. So if you, if you see the woods, right? Which are more interesting than just seeing a tree. Right? You'll know to what? Skeet, skeet, darling dears. Avoid this. Because if you invite them back in, darling dear, it's going to be the same. She's naive. This person has got a lot of bodies on them. Right? They use their sexual energy. They got money. They was being gift, gifted money. Right? People was, people was opening up their wallet, darling dear, and giving them money. Money that they never saw again. This person has got a lot of karma on them at this moment in time. And look where they're looking. Because if you look at the cards always look to their eyes and can you see on this particular card he's looking straight up and what's we'll he looking straight up right that you're abundant and you're in the distance blood in the distance mm -hmm. so if you allow this situation to go on the ne the near future action what's going to happen is that you're going to be on the same she's naive it's going to affect your mental health your financial health your spiritual health darling dears right if, it's, if you get back with them, this honeymoon stage, I'll tell you how long it's going to last. What's this? Six? Six minutes? Yeah, six minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how long it's going to last, blood. Bruh, or sis dream. No, that's what's going to happen. That is a prediction. Write that down on your calendar, darling. Is if you take this person back, that is the first future reaction. Mm-hmm. All right, let's dive a little deeper. Let me sip my mocha because I ain't getting smoked, mate. Listen, I wake up and I'm ready. When I put my feet on the floor, the devil's like, oh, no, she's awake. Everybody leaves me alone. <laughs> yeah, because I ain't about that life, darling dears. Right? Where you wake up arguing, upset, walking on eggshells, getting all sorts of skin issues, right? Bowel issues. No, blood. Mm-mm. I like to live in an atmosphere where a big P is being banded around. What's that? Peace, darling dears. Peace. Mm -hmm. As an empty and right, another pop, right? Every single zebra has different spots, darling dears. They don't change. They've all got different stripes. I said spots, but it's stripes. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's press on, darling dears. So, card number four, five, and six, right? Wants to tell us what's going to happen. Right? So, if you keep going, darling dears, this is an alternative to you taking back that personal situation, one which you don't deserve, right? One where we already saw that they're going through some kind of monetary loss, some kind of a debt, darling dears. If you take on their debt... You're signaling the universe to give it to you without the Vaseline. Mm -hmm. Join in their karma. Mm -hmm. If you take them, if you don't, if you decide to continue to what? Build upon yourself, darling dears. And what? Have faith. Feel all in the heart, darling dears. 
conceive, believe and achieve, the universe is going to bring you to what? Lots of opportunities, darling. Is somebody's also a photographer or somebody's taking a look at old pictures or maybe you're getting snapshots in your cranium, darling, Diz, as you realise that you, what, just bested the devil's most diligent worker. Who's that? Pennywise, son or daughter. Yeah, you bested them. Mm -hmm. Move forward, darling, Diz, because you're going to make a choice that you want, you're going to want to be around chariot energy. But this is, this is also, I'm feeling like an energy. Don't move forward and be anxious about the unknown, darling, Diz. Realize that you are the professor of the puzzle. You've overcome so much. And it's also a reminder to you to move forward with no ego, darling dears. You had too many emotions wrapped up in a situation that didn't give you the same energy. It didn't. No, mate, if you if it was me, I'd be doing the electric electric slide towards my future, mate. Yup. I'd be like, boots don't and feet don't fail me now. Mm, mm. Yeah. All right. So somebody who hasn't changed in the past, darling, is they're looking back at the situation. This also speaks about someone who is emotionally manipulative. They will try and, and give you a quick hoodwinking, darling, dear. No salt's energy, so no truths will be spoken by this past person. This person is not getting it from the source. Souls also represent God energy. It also represents the crown chakra, darling dears. So I'm telling you, they're not getting it. Wherever they, whoever's whispering in their ear, mate, it's not of God. This person is living with a lot of regret, darling dears. They're looking back. Maybe this, maybe they are physically looking at pictures, but they're getting snapshots of the past, darling dears. If you should have a conversation, they don't want to hear your side of anything. Anything you say will be shot down immediately. They will come across as the victim. Yes, baby, they will be shape-shifted and mean, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. They'll be a full-on beta. What's that? A back front neck tabba. They get no S. They're just a tabba. The A is for the abuser in them. The I is because they're a flipping imposter, impersonator of a human. Mm -hmm. A taker because they're taking the piss. No, they've gone past taking the piss. They're taking the shit. They think you're coming back, blood. Bruh. Or sistry. The E is because they're an exploiter. The R is because they was reckless blood. They was reckless. They ran rampant for your life, darling dear. And turned your barbecue into mildew. And the S. The S is because they're shape-shifting and mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, man. You had to learn to what? Sort out your own emotions, darling dears. Your emotions are your emotions to manage. They're not no one else's issue. You learn to keep your own counsel. Why? Because 80% don't care. 90% is 19% is glad it's happening to you. And that 1% is not going to turn up who's on the same wavelength until you manage your emotions. And as I said, you did the DNS like a boss. This is why you're getting a gift, right? Something that you're going to want to keep. Mm -hmm. Outrageous, darling dears. Let's, let's look a bit deeper on these reverse cards. This person is a breadcrumb. Look! Shepherd of the devil, darling, dears. 333 on the counter. The universe is supporting you to receive the balance you truly deserve. Mm -hmm. The universe wants you to continue to believe in yourself, darling, dears. Yeah, we saw it. Shepherd of the devil, Pennywise, son and daughter. <laughs> this person is obsessed with you, darling, dears. They've got lots of addictions. Not just the addiction to lying. We know that they are what the carrier of the gingivitis. The one that like to talk when a go so. Mm -hmm. The one who can't trust their own shadow after dark. Right? They're a breadcrumber. They want the least amount of effort and think that they can just get you back. Yeah. This is confirmation. Yeah. They think that the least amount of effort will draw you back in. Right? But they're broke. And they're looking for a helpmate. Right? They're looking for someone to help them in their brokenness, darling dears. And again, it goes to what? Six of Pentacles. So now we've got 666. If that ain't the mark of the beast, if this is not telling you that you are dealing with the devil's most diligent worker, but you are a soldier for the light. You had to go through this in order to understand your reputation is everything. This is why I tell you here at Don't Get Smoke Central, you do the what? The boozy badass, darling dears. Because there's liars, thieves, cheaters, users. Oh my, 
I told you the pearl thing will be clutching them together. Yeah, right. Swindlers, back front neck tubbers, they get no S because they go for the what? White meat. Mm -hmm. They are frenemy, they are a hater that comes with the bad vibes, the bad advice, the bad intention, the bad credit. Yeah, and the Panani of a tomb that's got amnesia. Yeah, it's got bad memory once it leaves your side. Thrapple City, darling dears. 666, Mark, listen. They're, going, they're stressed out. I told you, wherever they find themselves, right? Which mud hut they find themselves at, they're going through it, darling dear. This person is stressed out. If you have a conversation, they're going to be upset that they was not able to what? Control the narrative. Because you came through like the Queen of Swords, style. Hiya! Roundhouse kick with what? Your intellect as well as what? Your intel, darling dear. Your words. You used your words. When you could get a word in edgeways. Yeah. You understood how to what? Master a conversation. How's that? You did the 80-20 rule. You listened to 80% of the what? Fuck shit. Right? And you said something for 20% and then you listen to the rest. Why? Because you listen long enough to a fool. They will tell you their foolishness. Yes, you did, darling dear. They was getting a tight fit for the what? The coffin for the ending of the situation. It's over, darling dear. It's over. The Queen of Swords could also represent somebody who's divorced, darling dear. Has left a long-term situation or whatever the circumstance could be. The frenemy, whatever it is, darling dear. It was a blessing in disguise. And this what? Incoming attack from this what? T-Rex arms, darling dear. With the trippy talk away. So I told you who it is. Pennywise, son or daughter. You will best them, darling dears. Tower moment, the change in you. Again, the Uranus energy. Mm-hmm. You wasn't meant to fit inside the box, darling dears. You're a rebel. Mm-hmm. And a rogue. Yeah, pop your collar, darling dears. Something about dancing. Somebody's gone back to their dancing. They stopped dancing when they was with this person. This person who is what? The shepherd of the devil, I told you. A full-on little finger. Yep. They, they want to message you. Page of Wands in the upright. But your shapely back is fully turned. You don't want to be on that traumatic, crazy-making cycle again with the devil's most diligent worker. This person is obsessed by you, darling dears. This person was extremely controlling. And they're under karma. They're going through it, mate. They might go through it. Yeah. And they feel like a full-on dickhead, babe. When they look at the cup of love you offered and they thought it, that cup would be there forever. Can't they see the cloud that's dissipating? Right? You dissipated the cloud and the offer of love. Right? Clean up in aisle number four. Yeah. Highly intuitive, darling dears. They, you're looking sexy. Like I said, you rejuvenated yourself. You did the Benjamin or the Benjamin of buttons, darling dears. Because you released that situation. Reputation, darling dears. You're building a reputation. Some of you are public speakers. You're being, as a natural born leader. This is a healer, a natural born healer. And that's the truth, page of wands in the upright. What about this past? Listen. Uh, You've got it compartmentalized, mate. You've got it on lock. The past is the past. Let the dead bury the dead. You've seen Pet Cemetery. Listen, you know the body, but you don't know what's on the inside. Something that hasn't changed. Look, two different decks came out in the reverse, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And the deck was just splitting. All they can do is talk about you, darling dears. You're always on the tip of the tongue. This person is what? A master at gaslighting. This is what I'm telling you. A whole a whole master at gaslighting. This is why you must continue to keep your shapely back turned. Continue with this leap of faith into the unknown. Possibly even foreign, foreign or distant horizons, darling dears. Yep, a new beginning for you. Mm-hmm. Look, King of Wands. For others, this is, this is a spiritually, divinely guided union coming in. But remember... We are in what? Venus retrograde season, darling dears. I've already put the read out. Go and find how it's going to be affecting your rising sign. Apart from that, you don't hook up with no one. Nobody. I don't care who is. They couldn't come in holding Jesus and Buddha's hand, right? During Venus in retrograde. No blood. Do the investigation till the season's over. I believe it's going to be over on the um, 7th of September. Sorry, I'll have to check my notes. But, you know, don't quit me. Yeah, true loyalty's on its way. As well as a true friend, darling dear. Hold out. 
Divine is gifting you with what you truly deserve. This person is looking for a helpmate, right? A nurse of a purse, darling, dears. And it's about your reputation. Go back to what? It's like go back to jail. Right? Don't go don't go past go. Don't click no two hundred. You can't have none of your rents, right? No upgrade, right? Told you they want to message you, mate. Yes, 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 yes. Because they are watching you, mate. It's on a 14. 14 is represented by the temperance energy. Your ancestral team are being what? They've been a bit skullduggers, darling. Just waking them up at the 3 a.m. They've constantly got their mobile device in their hand, seeking intel about you. And God is backing that, darling, dear. God is not telling your ancestors to back down. Continue to focus on your grind, darling, dears. Your reputation is going to pay off in the end. I can't make it up. Sudden wealth. It could be the wealth of new new clientele, new contracts. It could be the wealth of a new job. It could be the wealth of what? Final exams, which we already discussed at the beginning of the read, darling dears. But this is definitely new territory, but it's deserving to you. Why? Because you've been doing the work. I've just had the energy. Somebody felt like, give, don't give up, darling dears. It always get hardest before it what evens out. Remember. It takes 10,000 hours to become an expert. And if you are at least 5,000 or fast approaching the 5,000, you're halfway there. Don't give up, big cat. You are moving towards infinite abundance. All while somebody's watching you, mate, for free. Yeah. These hillbilly investigations, darling dears. They're afraid that you're going to go into union. We already saw the king and queen of wands, darling dears. This community, what about the community? Are they friend or foe? Right? As you step, no, mate, they're foe. You had to leave them behind because your reputation. They dragged you, called you everything but a child of God. They laughed at this new work ethic, whatever you're working towards, this new line of study. They wanted it to be stopped. They wanted your ship to stop sailing, darling dears. But divine gave you a new beginning, moon energy. Why? Because you deserved it after the betrayal, darling dears. But it's, it was for you to realise that you can begin any time you want, darling dear, and always be in high expectation, right? The 28 is the number of wealth, darling dear, generational wealth. You're about to be blessed in a humongous way because you said goodbye to those that was lowering your reputation. And reputation is everything. We discussed this. Law number five of the 48 laws of power. And I'll double that and go on to what? Law number 10. Continue to avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. Leave people to their karma, darling dears. And we don't double back and sure as she's naive. Is no one allowed to spin the block on you? <coughs> Perish the fault, especially when you've done your Benjamin or Benjamina buttons. Rejuvenated yourself. And as I said, you're banding around that big P. What's that? Peace, darling dears. Peace. Mm -hmm. they're, they're bloody cheek. That's what it's called. <laughs> that's what you call them kind of things there bloody cheek and if you're feeling spicy it's point A or point B guys point A or point B mm -hmm. on that note I dropped me mic talk love to my teesprings talk love to my patreon or simply come back here or take the hop, skip and dump, jump to my TikToks where I also upload videos. Thank you very much for your likes, your subscribes and shares and your comments, darling dears, because remember, you are the survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat way until we meet again. Cat 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 cat. Bestie oi. Reputation is everything. Fool you once, shame on you, shame on them. Fool you twice, shame on you. We're not into the shame game, we're into what? Being blessed by the most high. Big cat way.